Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some news that we all knew was coming. It was just a matter of time. Time is of the essence, is what they say. And sometimes you run out of it. And it seems as though my man Kelvin Benjamin ran out of time. I wish you had more not. No more time. I'm done. We're all done. In case you've been living under a rock, Kelvin Biscuit Benjamin has been released. He's been let go. He's been sent packing. He's been sent away. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelvin Benjamin has been released from the Buffalo Bills for doing absolutely nothing all year. I'm sorry, it sounds harsh, but it's the facts. My guy, six foot five, 245 pound receiver at 28 years old, just was not a big enough impact for the Buffalo Bills. I mean, we gave up two draft picks to bring him to Buffalo, get that number one receiver that we haven't had in such a time. But it just didn't work out. Now, why didn't work out? Because a lot of times there are things that just aren't in your control. New coaching, quarterback changes, which, which did happen. You don't get along with your teammates. You're not a good teammate. Just a whole lot of things can happen. Personal issues, a lot of things can happen. But Kelvin Benjamin's issues weren't exactly things that wasn't out of his control. They were all in his control. And it all started with him running his mouth. In case you guys forgot, my guy decided to, you know, do a little interview, start flapping his gums, talking about, I wish I was able to play with a quarterback that knew how to place the balls. You know, kind of like your Eli Mannings, kind of like your Ben Roethlisberger's, kind of like, kind of like, kind of like. My man was running his mouth, so Cam Newton was like, what? Are you kidding me? I gave you your best career. Your rookie year, a thousand yards, you know what I'm saying? 73 catches. Yeah, that was with me. And you're going to talk all that junk? Cool, let me see you. Let me catch you at that field. But guess what? Your boy was talking all that junk and then walked away. Whatever it is. That's flag number one. Flag number two. Your rookie quarterback asks you, hey, man, let's go outside and throw the ball before this game. Is. Let's, get, let's get warmed up. Nah, I'm good. I beg your pardon? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Oh, okay. But guess what? Somebody heard that junk. Your star quarterback asks you, let's go warm up and throw the ball. And you say, nah, I'm good. Red flag number two. And last but not least, the one thing that if you're going to flap your gums, if you're going to not be about warming up with your quarterback, you better ball out and know what the hell you're doing. Right? Wrong. My guy had to be told by Zay Jones where to line up, what route to run, what to do. Dude, that's the trifecta. That's three flags and you gone. But guess what? McBean said, we brought you in. We're going to give you every single opportunity to develop. Every opportunity to really excel with the Bills. I think the straw that broke the camel's back was last game against the Miami Dolphins. What play, you ask? Go check out my Twitter. <laughs> Go check out my Twitter. I'll tell you exactly what play I'm talking about. I'm talking about the play that Zay Jones scored his touchdown. That nice touchdown, that nice throw by Josh Allen. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Where Kelvin Benjamin decided to sprint his 10 yards and then coast the rest of the way because, eh, guess I'm not getting the ball. Uh, buddy, <laughs> the play is still going on. The play is live. What if it was that Josh Allen was looking for you as the target? Luckily, Zay Jones is a nice route runner, caught that ball between two defenders and into the end zone. That was it. Management saw enough. And guess what? Management's not the only person who saw that play. All of Buffalo saw that play. My guy, you quit on your team and you quit on yourself. And that is why you are where you are. You flopped all your gums. You did all that good stuff. But it's the stats that matter sometimes. Let me, speaking of stats, let me break some stats down for you guys. In 18 games with the Bills, 89 targets, 39 receptions, 571 yards, 14.6 yards per catch. So that tells me you can stretch the field. 
if you put some effort in, my goodness, you would have been something special. <laughs> and the two touchdowns that you've scored in your career in Buffalo came from Nate Peterman. Yes, I found a way to say Nate Peterman's name. I don't give a damn. And Josh Allen. That's it. Man, oh man, what a disappointment Kelvin Benjamin was to Buffalo. And the worst part is 1.7 yards of separation before catching a ball. I just can't do it in this league, man. These cornerbacks are getting better and better. Without Kelvin Benjamin, without Andre Holmes that has been released, we're going to be rocking with five receivers. Zay Jones, Isaiah McKenzie, Ray Ray that I have my reservations about, but he's still young. Deontay Thompson and Robert Foster. And here's the thing, insult to injury is the fact that you're better off spiking the football than targeting Kelvin Benjamin. Spiking the football gets you a quarterback rating of 39.6. Attempting to throw the ball to Kelvin Benjamin, 28.2. That in itself is a stat. Kelvin Benjamin is the worst receiver when targeted. The worst 39.2 catch percentage worst passer rating when targeted worst interception rating when targeted with six and he's got the fourth worst catch rate of 16.7 percent there it is folks not only does he not care not only does he not run his routes properly not only does he not know the damn playbook not only does he not run his mouth but the stats tell it all congratulations Kelvin Benjamin, you played yourself. You played yourself out of Buffalo and potentially out of this league. Good luck. Kelvin Benjamin, if you want to remain in this league, take my advice. Switch over to tight end. That might be your best bet. Learn how to block. Eat all the biscuits you want. And I'm telling you, you might make it in this league, my man. Until next time, it's your boy. And I'm gone. Bitch, I want party like Chris Carly.